What's up, this is EasyOSX, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your Mac to the latest version of macOS. In this case, macOS 11 Big Sur. Before you attempt to upgrade your Mac, there are a few things that you wanna double check. The first of which is to make sure that you have a good backup of your files and your machine. You can back up to an external drive using Apple's built-in time machine or the third-party utility Carbon Copy Cloner. Both of these will do a complete backup of your system to an external hard drive. You can also use cloud storage providers such as Dropbox and Google Drive to back up your personal files and folders to the cloud as well as to other computers. The next thing you want to check is if your Mac is compatible with the latest version of macOS or if it can only be upgraded to an older version. To check this, go up to the Apple logo in the top left hand corner, hit About This Mac, and a window will pop up on your screen that will tell you what model Mac you're using. In this case, this is a MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch from mid 2015. You can then check this against Apple's support page, which I'll link in the description, where you can also get a more detailed view of every specific Mac model that is compatible. In this case, you can see that the MacBook Pro I'm running is indeed compatible, so we can go ahead and upgrade to Big Sur. But before we do that, we want to make sure none of our important apps break, so we want to check if our apps are compatible. For that, I recommend going to RoaringApps.com, which I'll link in the description. Here, you can check all of your apps and whether they are compatible with the version of macOS you're attempting to upgrade to, either in a full list or by searching and checking for individual apps. It'll also tell you what specific versions of those apps are compatible with the version of Mac that you're attempting to upgrade to. The last thing that you need to check is if your machine has enough space, because whenever you upgrade macOS, you need to make sure that you have enough space not only to download the installer, but for macOS to be able to open up and run the installer. To check this, open a new finder window on your Mac, and in the left sidebar, right click on your internal hard drive and hit get info. A window will then pop up where you can see the total space of your hard drive, how much is available, and how much you've used. Alternatively, you can open the About This Mac pane again, and then click on the Storage tab, which will not only tell you how much storage space you're using, but what is taking it up. So if you've checked everything, and everything is good to go, it's time to finally upgrade your Mac. If you're running Mojave or Catalina, you can go to System Preferences and open the Software Update pane, and there you should see the upgrade to macOS Big Sur. If you're running anything older than Mojave though, you'll need to download macOS Big Sur from the Mac App Store, which I've included a link to in the description. Now since I am running Catalina on this Mac, if I hit the Git button, it just opens Software Update. I'll hit the Download button and let the download begin. Now this is going to take some time, it is a 12 gig file, so I'm going to come back to this a little bit later. When the download finishes, the installer will automatically open. If you're not ready to upgrade just yet, you can close it, but then come back and find the installer file in your applications folder under the name install macOS Big Sur. This is also what you use if you want to create an install drive, which I'll include a link to in the top right corner. If you are ready to upgrade, hit the continue button and then agree to the terms of service. You'll select what hard drive you want, hit continue, and then type in your password. The install will begin and take roughly about an hour to complete. If you change your mind, you'll need to hit the cancel button before your Mac reboots. Now if you've got a Mac that is not compatible with Big Sur, or your Mac is running something older than El Capitan, you'll need to install an older version of macOS. Fortunately, Apple keeps a list of the old macOS systems that you can still download and install from the App Store if you click on the links. I'll put the links to all of these in the description below. And that's how you upgrade your Mac to Big Sur. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, if it helped you out, give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more Mac and iOS tips, tricks, and advice. You can also check us out on social media and on our website, easyosx.net. Thank you all again and catch you next time.